Now you know how to count the number of microstates and relate this to the probability of a configuration. Now in 1877, Ludwig Boltzmann found a relationship between the multiplicity of configurations, Rw, which we said was n factorial divided by n1 factorial times n2 factorial, and the entropy of a system. He showed that they were related through s is equal to k log w. This was a crowning achievement for Boltzmann, and this equation is actually engraved on his tombstone. We won't be deriving it in this course, but we will be making use of it. We'll see an example in just a minute. Okay, but it does make sense that we've got a logarithm in there, because if you think of two individual systems and combining them, when we combine them, the entropies of those two systems add together, while the probability of specific states is calculated by multiplying the individual probabilities together. And logarithmic functions have this property. We know that log of a times b is equal to log of a plus log of b. Now, one thing that you should be aware of is because factorials can get really big really quickly, sometimes your calculator can't cope with it and will have an overflow. In that case, it's useful to make use of an equation that Stirling came up with. If you've heard of Stirling engines before, it's not the same Stirling. This is a different Stirling, uh, Stirling who was a mathematician. He showed that log of n factorial is equal to n log n minus n. Okay, so that's written so that you can see it clearly. So let's see an example of how we can calculate the entropy now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is calculate delta S in two ways for isothermal free expansion where the gas doubles its volume. Okay, so this first way, um, just the using the heat transfer, we showed that the change in entropy was equal to S of the final state minus S of the initial state, which we showed was equal to NR times log V final over V initial plus NCV times log of T final over T initial. And because this is an isothermal free expansion, the temperature is not changing. So this is log of one. So this whole term here is equal to zero. And the final volume is double the initial volume. So this is equal to NR log 2V initial over V initial. These cancel out and we have NR log two. Okay, so we've calculated it in, in our way where we're considering heat flow and temperature. Now we're going to calculate it by counting the number of states and using Boltzmann. So using Boltzmann, we know that S is equal to K log W, where W is the multiplicity of states. So initially, if we've got some total volume, we've got n particles on the left-hand side and none on the right-hand side. This is initially. And then afterwards, the particles have evenly distributed themselves between the two sides. So we've got n on two here and n on two here, and this is the final state here. So now we work out the change in entropy between these two states here. Okay, so to do that, we, we need to know W for these two states. So W for the initial state, well, just remember that W is equal to M factorial over N1 factorial, N2 factorial. In this case, we've got N factorial over now N1, there's capital N in there, so that's N factorial, and there's none in here, so zero factorial. So that's N factorial divided by N factorial divided by one, and so these cancel and we get one as the initial configuration of states. So we can actually calculate the initial entropy. It's equal to K log of one 
log of one is zero, so it's actually zero. So the initial entropy is zero. Okay, the multiplicity of states for the final state, we've got n factorial over n on two factorial times n on two factorial. So substituting this in, the final entropy is going to be k log of n factorial over n on two factorial n on two factorial. Okay, now this is a log, so we can use our log rules. When we divide by logs, we subtract the logs. So this is k log n factorial minus k log n on two factorial, and this thing's all squared. And hopefully you remember that when you have a square inside the log, you can pull the two out the front. So this is equal to k log n factorial minus 2k log n on 2 factorial. Okay, now in order to simplify this, we're going to use Stirling's rule, which told us that log of n factorial is pretty much equal to n log n minus n. So we'll substitute in now. So SF is equal to, okay, K, we'll pull that out the front of everything. Then we've got n log n minus n minus, okay, we've pulled the k out the front, but we've still got the 2. So this is then 2 times, now we've got n on 2 here. So this is n on 2 log n on 2 minus, but it's minus minus, so it's plus 2, that's that 2, and then this is n on 2. Okay, so now we want to simplify a bit. We, here we've got a minus n, and this thing here is a plus n. So that cancels that. And so we have k n log n minus, this is, these twos cancel. So this is equal to n log n on 2. Okay, so let's pull n out the front. So we've got k n. And then we've got log n minus log n on 2. Now, when we subtract logs, we can just divide. We did it in reverse up here. So this is kn log n over n on 2. And so this is equal to kn log 2. And now we're almost to what we had before. But remember that um, R, the gas constants related to Boltzmann's constant through NR, where little n's the number of moles, is equal to the number of molecules times K. And so we can replace this NK or KN, doesn't matter which order we write it, with NR log two. And so we've come up with exactly the same expression for entropy using these two different methods.